Hello and welcome to another LMMS tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you about the arpeggiator. As you can see right here I have triple oscillator open and I already have the arpeggiator up. I'm gonna start with stacking. Um, stacking. Basically what this is if you have it on when you push a button down here it'll play chords. So it'll play like the minor chords in whatever um, range you have it'll play like up and down in, instead of playing notes as an arpeggio it'll play minor chords going up and playing minor chords and i combined the minor chord with a minor chord arpeggio down here so uh if i play a it'll play a minor and then c minor and then e minor and then it'll just keep going be up um, two octaves because I have the range of my arpeggio on two octaves. So that means it goes up 12 notes and down 12 notes. I mean up 24 notes and down 24 notes. Each octave is 12 notes. And I have my direction set to up so it plays up the scale instead of down the scale. And you can go ahead and switch your chord to any chord you want in here. I just have mine on minor and you can switch your direction and your mode. We'll get to all that in a second but first the range of your chord. If you have the range up it'll play the chord on multiple octaves. Okay, direction. Uh, you can set it on up, down, up and down, random, or down and up. I am going to go ahead and set mine to up and down. Uh, the names are pretty self-explanatory. If you have random, it just plays uh, whatever you have the arpeggio playing in just a random order. Um, I'm going to set it to up and down. And this time right here is how long it takes to play through the whole arpeggio. You can either have it really slow or really fast. And then this mode down here, um, if you have free, any time you push a note, a new arpeggio will start. If you have it set to sort, um, any time you push a new note, an arpeggio won't start. The first arpeggio finishes, and then the second arpeggio plays. And if you have sync, if you push two buttons at the same time, an arpeggio will st start on both of those buttons. And this gate right here, and this gate right here, that is the time that the notes are played. As you can see there, there it has shorter times, and they don't hold out as long. If you have it up, it has longer times. And they overlap a bit. So this is a very nice tool to use in your songs. Um... I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.